Now, though, I really would like to take a Spanish class. And we this are summer. live. And stuff. So, yeah. And we're always talking about what, what we're doing, what we're going to do, and how we're going to do it. And I am so excited that school isn't just about out. Yay! Uh, and although Julie's getting ready to go into a session, Sylvia is in a session, uh, and Aurora's taking it easy. So glad that we're all together again. Yay, us! We've just kind of yes. been here, there, and everywhere. Aurora's been traveling, 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 um, and uh, and having a good time. I've been looking at the, the pictures as you've taken off with your nieces. That is such a neat thing to do. It is so cool. They get the chance to learn from their sage auntie and have some fun and everything. They need to appreciate their heritage. They need to appreciate, you know, how hard people work in Mexico. We were in Puerto Vallarta and one niece is 16, the other is 20. And they need to understand, you know, that it's not always that easy. People have it harder and they need to appreciate what they have. You know, I listen to my students all the time say, oh, we went to Mexico this weekend and we're going to Mexico next week. And, and I'm thinking, I'm grown and I haven't been to Mexico. So I, I mean, I'm charting my course this summer and I'm saying if anybody wants to go, I'm going to Mexico this summer. And that's just all there is to it. I, I need to go across the border. I have a passport with no stamps in it. So uh, I'm changing that that picture uh, and stuff. My sister said, don't, don't, so don't try to speak the language while you're there. They might... <laughs> <laughs> now, no, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. <laughs> so, but anyway, but I'm going. I am. I'm putting that. I'm putting it out there. I'm going to Mexico this summer uh, and stuff. So there you go. If I call you Aurora and say, please tell them, let me come back. <laughs> <laughs> Puerto if I have Vallarta is beautiful. Campaign, I promise it I will do that. Beautiful. For you. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Oh gosh! So you've gone, Sylvia. So good morning, Sylvia. You've gone to Mexico. Where Where have you been? I have been to Puerto Vallarta. I've been to Cancun a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I've been I feel like I'm leaving something out. Uh, what is Los it? Cabos? Playa? Los Cabos. Los Cabos. Uh, Cozumel. Ooh. So mm -hmm. I love Mexico. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. My youngest has been, but I've never been. <laughs> Okay, Julie, come on. Get finished with your session. Come on, Julie. <laughs> come I, on. Need to update, I need to update my passport. It's in my old name. Just okay. had to do that. So get it done, girl. Get it done. <laughs> Let's just do this. I mean, I'm in for some adventure. And we we got through the, the, the pandemic. We, of course, I know it's still going on. Don't let me take from that. But uh, we couldn't do anything last year. We couldn't go anywhere. So now mm -hmm. that we can go. Assist a chat from Mexico somewhere. Woo! Ooh. Yes, yes. I, I, you know what? I'm I'm doing it. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. It's a done deal, folks. So anyway, but good morning, good morning, good morning. And so glad that you came into the room this morning for a little sister chat. We have so much to talk about. And we have an awesome guest coming in a little bit later on. So get everybody together and, um, and you know, and join us and comment. Uh, and we have some great announcements of things coming up uh, as far as sister chat is concerned as well. But first, we want to find out what is Sylvia teaching tomorrow? Well, like we share every week, I am with Transformation Church online and every Sunday at 1015 Central Time, I teach Sunday school. And this week, uh, the, the topic will be, what are you worrying about? What oh. does worrying do for you? Does it increase your life? Does it make you feel better? <laughs> 10.15, you said. Okay. Yes. 10.15 okay. Central Time on Facebook Live. Oh. Information Church Online. Come on and join us and, and listen to the lesson because uh, worrying does nothing. Worrying <laughs> does nothing. nothing it's driving nothing. crazy. Driving yes, crazy. it does. Oh my God. You know what? It makes you, gives you wrinkles. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. wrinkles yeah. and everything else oh my goodness well that's gonna be exciting and i heard julie's julie's getting it ready for uh just be able to sign on so yeah we all have to check that out yeah so, i mean where do, where does where does it say anywhere in the bible god worries <laughs> yeah nowhere nowhere uh -uh. Uh -uh. No. He he what he's god <laughs> knows the end from the beginning huh and and did he command us to worry no, 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 not at all. 
So, we're good deal. And I will tell you this, that when you come to the, the Bible study with, um, with Sylvia, be prepared to just enjoy yourself. Uh, there's laughter, there, there's, it's very personable, uh, and, and so you will it, just enjoy a, a nice morning before you have to hit the road to go to your own church or whatever. Um, you can just enjoy a, a nice morning with Sylvia, and if you don't, you can re-watch it uh, on Transformation Church on Facebook, and, uh, and of course on um, K-Hugs, you can see it again. So um, put that on your list of things to do. Well, we have stuff to talk about today, and as we venture off into our topics, oh my goodness, let's start with, hmm... Where are we going to start? I want to start with J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan is going to resume making political donations to U.S. lawmakers, but will not give to, will not give to, underline, will not give to Republican members of Congress who voted to overturn President Joe Biden's election victory. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think that's a great thing. I mean, and he, we're talking about the largest... Um, um, lender in the country. I mean, you know, Chase is just uh, one of the big dogs. And so uh, they made this decision, and I'm so excited about it, Julie. <laughs> well, since they have uh, the their largest building, their, uh, uh, and my kid used to work for them too, but uh, their largest building in the world is here in Columbus, Ohio, um, right around the corner. Uh, the McCoy Center uh-huh. is actually in the Guinness Book. Um, but anyway, so I, I just think that this is a good thing. Um, it is about time that the people who are, I don't know what you want to call them, regular Republicans, the people that were Republicans, you know, 10 years ago, who mm-hmm. weren't doing all the mess that has been going on last five, six years. Um, uh, when, when those folks start to take their party back, I think that that's going to be something that is a good thing because who they have been lately, I don't really think is recognizable to anyone, themselves included. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was when John Boehner was on uh, the circuit for his book the other weeks, and there were things that I agreed with him on, and I've never agreed with John Boehner before. Mm-hmm. Um, but Jamie Dimon um, has always been a huge contributor to Republican campaigns, and the fact that he is now not going to do this, I think, is growth. And I think that a lot of the large Republican donors should really do the same. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think he's. I think he should be setting the example. Well, what what do you think this delusion comes from? Keeps coming up all the time. I mean, good gracious, let, let's get on with life. We are here in uh, June. Uh, he's our president. He is our president. Can we just get away with it? Get away and go on to the next thing. Well, not I- when you have mainstream media saying that he's talking about he's going to be back in August. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw, I was at the, at a little coffee shop yesterday. I met with the lady and I saw, first of all, my first MAGA hat, but my, but a MAGA hat now <laughs> I know. <laughs> embroidered with 45 on the side. I was like, oh, come on. Like, can we like, okay, whatever. And he was just as proud, you know, had his hat on, you know, sitting up, making sure everybody sees him. Okay. Do you do what, uh. Come on. It's just, how, about, how about the fact that it had 45 on it and we were... It was <laughs> embroidered 45 on both sides. You know how like young people do, you know, they put their favorite uh, uh-huh. basketball, you know, uh, or yeah. football number on there. Yeah, it was like that. I was like, oh, oh, okay. Hmm. I think <laughs> it's encouraging that, uh, that uh, J.P. Morgan is, is making restrictions. I think... Uh, once he does, others will follow. But, uh, you know, January 6th happened, and it wasn't just a tour of the <sighs> Capitol. It happened, and it was real, and people died. And the and whole world watched. They, and the whole world watched, and they want to gloss over it, and it was a tour, and it what didn't happen, and it was all a figment of our imagination. But, yeah, I like it, how- I think. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I just think it's uh, hopefully the beginning. You know, since there's, since there's such a large corporation, it will uh, lead the way for other companies to do the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because J.P. Morgan's too big for them to to mess with, so they're not going to mm-hmm. bother them. It's I, I just want to make sure that we make the distinction, though. J.P. Morgan 
was the guy who was also bad in his own right. And I don't mean oh, yeah. bad in the, he's bad, he's bad, he's really, really bad. I mean, he was awful. Yeah. Um, back in the early ter- 1900s with mm-hmm. all of those, you know, oligarchs and whatever you want to call them back then who were trying to take over the world. Um, so that's who J.P. Morgan is. But the person who has made these decisions is Jamie Dimon. He is the current CEO of yes. J.P. Morgan Chase. Yes. So I just want to make sure that we make that distinction. Definitely. And Jamie Dimon is the one who is directing this uh, movement. Yeah, I like how just, you know, our our government won't hold them accountable or whatever have you. But, but, but we have businesses, we have other people that can actually hold them accountable in a different way. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think sets a, a really good um, precedent, if you will, that businesses have options. Mm-hmm. Businesses can, do not have to support your craziness and, and bad behaviors and bad mistakes. And so hit them where, that, where it counts, your pockets. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And, and and so, yes, we know, yeah, J.P. Morgan has a, a history, ooh, but, uh, but when we're looking at what's happening now with this CEO, such a good move. Yes, he's still, you know, supporting Republicans, but all Republicans aren't bad. You know, they're, they're in a bad situation. And with the infighting and the division, I mean, I do remember it's being said that, you know, a house divided against itself will fall. So, you know, they split up, Democrats stick together. You know, and then maybe and get some good Democrats in there too. I mean, some strong people uh, and stuff. So, wow, that's really amazing. And so, so glad. Good morning, Beverly. Good morning, Jackie. So glad you all are with us this morning. Um, you've got a great show. Hang in there with us. Send us your thoughts and your and your questions. We'd love to uh, chat with you as we're chatting with each other um, and stuff. Uh, rolling over South Carolina, there is a county in South Carolina that has decided to ban Coca-Cola machines uh, because they're opposed to the um, the restrictions in um, Georgia, the voting restrictions in Georgia. Now, you know, I'm not a Coke drinker, but this instantly made me want to uh, buy Coke. Okay, just to show support because uh, that the, not only in Georgia have we seen a change in voting, um, but here in Texas and, and in other places are follow, following suit. So good thing, rah, rah uh, for Coke um, and stuff. But one county, eh, people go across the line to get Coke. But they're basically addicted to it anyway. So <laughs> are y'all Coke drinkers? I am. No. No, I was. I'm doing ago. good to get my doing good to get my water in. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we know Sylvia's issue with water. But... No, and don't talk to don't, don't talk to Sylvia about water. Yes, oh. Sylvia. <laughs> No Coke for breakfast. I love it. Uh, my, my co-worker, he has a Coke for breakfast. He has a Coke and a, uh, I forget what else, some kind of chip or something. I'm thinking, yeah, when you're young, you can do that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. uh, but it never, I never see, I, I never seem to. Be, it, I never cease to be amazed by the actions of like North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. You know, if we can't win honestly, then mm-hmm. let's just make it harder to vote. You know, that is shameful. And that's, I mean, that's really the truth. That's the crux of the matter everywhere. Yeah. We came out and voted last year in numbers that they tried really hard to suppress but we mm-hmm. got around it and did it anyway and so they're recreating the rules and re-evaluating to try to suppress our side of the vote mm-hmm. so they can win and it's it's terrible it's terrible yeah. and they're you know it's just absolutely just unconscionable and so my um stance has always been okay so these are the rules then let's make sure that we can get everybody through these rules that we can get Yes. You know, right. yep. you know we, we could fight them on the one hand, but on this hand, we need to get everybody their IDs. We need to get everybody registered. We need to get everybody, you know, transportation to the polls. We need mm-hmm. to do whatever it is that is necessary to get these folks to still be able to vote because we just can't allow this to happen. Not now, 2021. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Exactly. That we're even having this conversation. Right. Mm-hmm. I just don't understand why they won't get it. You know, you do realize that we are resilient. We will find a way. Like whatever mm-hmm. you need to 
throwing at us. Mm-hmm. We're gonna fight you on one end, but we're gonna we're gonna find a way to make it happen. And as mm-hmm. soon as they get, you know, kind of realize that, then maybe they'll stop. But um, it, it's just crazy that that, like you said, Julie, in this day and age, that we're still having, we're still talking about voters' rights. Like we're like still like it was nineteen sixty five. Yeah, like <laughs> come. Oh, and like oh, not most of us are uh, educated enough to figure this thing out uh, and stuff. I mean, if we have to create a water uh, a, a water bottle that, that can be put in a freezer, you know, and stuff on two sides so that the water melts, then they can stand in line. You know what? Let's just do what we have to do. But you can't take us down. It's too late. It's just too late for that. We're not going to stand for it. So, you know, we had, is- that, we had a special election here for Deb Holland's seat, who's now the Secretary of Interior. And they were hoping that that was going to go to the Republicans. But, you know, Democrats turned up and they showed up and they voted and she won uh, by landslide. Melanie Stansford won by landslide. So, yeah. you know, people are, people are not hesitant to make their voices heard. I think they learned their lesson in the last election. Oh, yeah. We cannot go silently into the night. And mm-hmm. Aurora, I was excited also. I know, you know, this wasn't on our list, but they're looking at the um, postmaster and uh, and stuff. I want him out of there. I want him gone. Well, he should have been gone a long time ago. Yeah. You know, don't get me started on him. You well, know, that, that takes question. a whole show. Why has, why has not, there not been a new one appointed? I mean, couldn't, go, couldn't Joe Biden do uh, that? It has to be, it goes... It has to go through a board of governors. There's a board of governors that are elected. It was elected by Trump. It's all his, you know, millionaire buddies. Mm -hmm. And so Joe Biden is slowly replacing them so they can take a vote. But right now, DeJoy's in trouble because he was encouraging his employees at his former company to make uh, financial contributions to uh, the Republican campaign. And then he would somehow you know, pay you back or something like that as employees back. But now they're investigating him on that. He's just, he's just, yeah. a, he's just done so much to destroy the postal service and so, destroy it and, and the integrity and the morale. It's just, it just drives me crazy. Well, the house of cards is falling down because they are starting to pull in people mm-hmm. to the um, grand jury and you like the grand jury boy. You can just kiss it. It's over. I, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're cooked. That's it. <laughs> they don't play. They don't play. Well, I tell you what, I, all of them droop, go away, go away, poof, go away, uh, and stuff. Julie, you were about to say something. Oh no, I just was thinking to myself. You know, these folks think that because they're associated with the orange one, that they're you know like him, Teflon. But they're not. All of his friends go to jail. I wouldn't be friends with him on a bet just because I might accidentally jaywalk and go to jail. With him. I mean, you know, no. You know, I don't understand why anybody wants to be his friends because that's a that's an automatic jail sentence. Right. So, and, and he's going to throw him under the bus. I mean, look absolutely. what he did Giuliani. And Giuliani just, you know, he's sweating die on TV for him. <laughs> <laughs> It was a bad hair yes, day. It was a bad... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you go to that length for somebody, come on, they need to stick with you. <laughs> yeah, that was so embarrassing. I'm like, what? Oh, what no, is my favorite that? though is, I have to show you guys this. This is my, my, book, my little book bag here. I don't know. It'll be able to be seen really well. Can you read that? Four Seasons Total Landscape. Four seasons in Philadelphia, <laughs> not the Four Seasons Hotel. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. <please. laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, just really quickly, political campaigns, political things like that, they have people they called advance. So when the advance got to the landscaping place, that should have been the first warning. This is not where we're supposed to be. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just crazy! It's hilarious. Sylvia, you were gonna say <laughs> she's, she's laughing talk. too hard; she can't talk. Can't stop. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Woo. sip of water, sip of water. Beverly says she does not do she does not do any soda. Hey, girl, hey, I applaud you. I, I have to have a root beer every now and then. So when I've had a hard mm-hmm. day, I'm like, root beer. <laughs> 
and they make they make diet root beer and zero count root beer and, and you know diet root beer not bad. Diet root beer tastes very much like real root beer, so you can get away with it. Yes. That's about it's the only, only yes. dark pop I will drink. Other than that, I don't I don't drink dark pop. What diet pop do you drink? I drink dark pop. So I don't Pepsi, Coke. I only if I drink a dark pop, it's a diet, it's a root beer. And that's everything. Yeah. That's with ice cream. <laughs> so it's kind of mellowed out the color. Made it into a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine would be Dr. Pepper. I love Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper and, you know, I and found, One year I found the original company. You can order a box. You can order a crate of the real uh, Dr. Pepper and uh, and stuff. And I ordered a crate with the idea when I ordered it, I was going to just share it with my students so they could see what it really tastes like. And then I got it and I thought, this is precious. I'm not giving this to kids. <laughs> oh, Kevin. It's mine. It's mine. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, my I God. That reminds, yeah, that's that's so reminds me of, I think it was Pampered Chef back in the beginning or one of the, you no, know, it was Tastefully Simple way back in the beginning had a brownie mix that had Godiva chocolate in it. Uh -huh. And I would make that brownie mix for me and my ex-husband. And then I would make regular like Duncan Hines brownies for the kids because they were not getting that Godiva chocolate brownie. So <laughs> those yeah. little things we do for ourselves, huh? Hey. That's, that's it. Well, hey, in Oklahoma news, um, uh, this really, this really chapped me. Um, black Army veteran faces murder charges after shooting, killing white intruder at his Oklahoma business. Now he's 42 years old, and he's charged with pulling the trigger and killing um, a man named Daniel Hardwick, who is white, according to um, uh, Yahoo News. Uh, and so this man had not been there, not once, but twice and maybe three times, I guess, casing the place. Uh, mm -hmm. So the, the man that is a, is a charge, he has a business growing medical marijuana. And so it was the second night in a row that uh, Hardick had showed up. So yeah, twice he had been there. And so he shoots him and they want to charge him with murder. I have an issue with this. We do have something called Stand Your Ground. You might remember back in January uh, 2012, a young white Oklahoma mother had shot and killed an intruder to protect her three month old baby on New Year's Eve. Her husband had died of cancer. She had cancer, um, those drugs in the house. They had tried to break in before and and this time the guy was just persistent. He was going to come in there. She shoots and kills him. But no, they said, it's okay. It's okay. You're protecting what's yours. What's the difference, y'all? You know what the difference is. Right. There's Yeah. And they're, they're trying to get him on a technicality that his business license was expired. What is that? There was a reason. Right, there was a reason, reason for it, and still in the process of getting it renewed. Mm -hmm. And then this situation happened. And so because technically he was under an expired business, everything is supposedly null and void, as if he didn't have a business in the first place. So now they're saying that that because his business was expired, the, the items that he has, which is he was selling um, uh, medical marijuana or whatever, um, and and because of that, the amount that he has, you know, all of that, now it has oh. turned to a felony. And because he has, mm -hmm. you know, his business, like I said, has expired and all that good stuff, it changes the situation. Mm -hmm. So now he is a felon, mm -hmm. a, a, a firearm, and and killing someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the technicality yeah. that they're using. Let's see. But, I, don't I mean, know if it hadn't been that, they'd have figured out something else. Something. The matter is, and okay. there's, you don't even have to use statistics. You can plug in real names to show this. The truth of the matter is, is that stand your ground laws do not apply to African Americans. Mm -hmm. They just don't. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime that we have tried to use those laws, we always go to jail. And my mm -hmm. biggest case point is the young woman who shot the gun at the ceiling. Mm hmm you know, or at the wall behind her ex-husband to warn him to leave her alone and the mm -hmm. kids alone. And she got sentenced to 20 years in jail. Right. She didn't even shoot him. Right. You know? Right. And so, I mean, I just think that that is horrible. I'm thinking to myself, well, you should have just gone ahead and shot him. The, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if she had. It would have been the same she, thing no matter what. Yeah. If she had so, a shot him, she would have got off. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she would have got off. If she mm -hmm. would have shot him, she would have got off. 
Yeah. And I mean, it just, it, it, it's just disgusting. These laws are really put into place for people who do not look like us to shoot people who do look like us. Right. Yep. Because, yep. you know, there's just so many of these cases just to, to name where, you know, that has been the case. Um, the LA Times did a really big article on the Stand Your Ground laws back around the first time they were trying to pass that here in Ohio. And sadly, it did pass, I think it was last year. Um, and now we have it too. But as you saw a few weeks back when Micaiah Bryant was trying to stand her ground against the adult who was menacing her, she got shot four times by a police officer and killed. So yep. those laws are not for us. We don't get to stand yeah. our ground. Yeah. Yes, it's it. Stand your ground with exceptions. Right. With exceptions. Because mm -hmm. they with don't believe that our ground is yeah. our ground. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. We don't so, have ground. And, yeah. you know, they've, I've even heard people say, well, if, you know, if, that, if somebody comes on your property and you shoot them, pull them in your house. <laughs> you know, <laughs> pull them inside the door uh, yeah. and stuff. So, you know. But, yeah, don't let them fall outside the door. The, the Columbus Police Department told my mother that years and years ago when my dad was menacing her. And they came, they came in, they cleaned her gun and, and showed her what to do and told her if, he, if she shoots him and he falls outside on the porch, drag him back in. And there we go. Oh. And there we go. <laughs> And there we go. Uh, you know, personally, you know, I'm not having the conversation with anybody. I find somebody in my house. We're not talking about what, you, what, what, what you doing here? I don't care what you're doing here. <laughs> you know, I, I hope you're prayed up. You know, yeah. and I used to be really squeamish. Honestly, Sylvia was just really. I thought, oh, I don't want to hurt anybody, and you know, and all this stuff. And the first time I went to buy a gun, uh, I told the woman, I said, I just want to stop someone. You know, I'm looking a little 22, and she said, that's just gonna make a man. <laughs> And she started talking about what size hole different ones would put in them. And I was like, oh, no, I can't do that. And I left. You know, I had an epiphany one day. I thought, you know what? Here's the deal. If I shoot somebody, at least I'm going to pray over them and call for help. They shoot me. They're going on about the business, you know, with my stuff. So I decided better they get shot than me. <laughs> Your rationale sometimes. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got a rationalization 101. Yeah. Oh my God. That's it. That's it exactly. So I just, I just had to do this, but you know, because I've been the gun pre uh, gun violence prevention advocate for so long. La, 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 la. <laughs> but you know, I'm not going out there to look for somebody to shoot. <laughs> I'm talking about in my own house where I get to walk around like I want to, where I get to sit in my living room or my den or wherever. In my own house. I mean, I feel like that I ought to just have a sign on the door that says, if you're prayed up, come on. Because you know what? It's not going down. I have things to do. There are people who will be unhappy if I'm not here. So, therefore, I must be here. Now. Yeah, but, I mean, we also have to be careful about that because I'll give you two names. You know, what is her name? Tatiana. Um, I can't remember her last name now. But the one who yeah. was looking out the window to see who was in her yard. Yeah. And they shot her. And then, of course, you know, the young lady who was asleep and got shot. So, yeah. We gotta be. Look, I'm just saying, if I wake up and it's and and, and you're there, it's on and popping. Apparently, it's, it's on and popping. <laughs> well, <laughs> <it's out. laughs> Sorry, Here is Annie. Uh, Annie, oh, please. <laughs> I, just, I mean, you know, at this stage of life, that's just not the way I want to go out. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so I'm just saying, you know, stay I away from my house it. at night. Don't don't come near me. Don't do it. Um, yeah, and if you're a guest in my house, I I will say to myself, there's somebody in my house. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the ladies, if we go to Texas, um, I'm getting a hotel room myself personally. Come in after No, because I will have rung her and texted her 17 times that I'm coming over to the house. So. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the bathroom. Put your I hands up. You're going to the bathroom. <laughs> Don't shoot. Just put your hands up. Wait a minute. Flag. You remember Go Golden flag. Girls? Flag. You remember Golden Girls? And they went. <laughs> When a white flag. character, she she had gotten mugged or something, and she was spooked, and so Blanche comes to the house one she shoots. She almost kills the boyfriend and, and stuff. She goes, "You shot my boss." She said, "But I didn't shoot Hector. I'd rather you shot Hector." That episode was just on. Was it? Oh my gosh! Well, anyway, here I want to show. <laughs> oh goodness okay i want to show this this is it was a TikTok, and i want to show this uh and stuff because it went viral 
the castle by a homeowner who just wants her mail. When she wants her mail, but it's your lunch break, he complains. His TikTok video went viral, with thousands cheering on the mailman and others labeling the woman a Karen. Why can't she just wait? Karen, go home. Others blasted the mailman. No wonder packages are always late. Millions of people shared the TikTok video thinking it was real, but it wasn't. It was a gag that quickly backfired. I am not a Karen. This is one of my dear friends. She's no Karen. She is not a Karen. It turns out Michelle Hausman and Devin Jones have known each other for years. You consider each other friends? Most definitely. She feeds me every day. <laughs> Besides making him lunch, Michelle often shoots Devin's TikTok videos. After the backlash, the Los Angeles mailman posted this new video of the pair hugging to the song Reunited. But even that didn't quell the storm. I didn't like the backlash she was getting, so we did a video to say, hey, we made peace. But that wasn't enough. Now it's, I'm doing that to save my job or she's doing it to save her job. Devin says the gag was meant to show people in a humorous way that even mailmen need lunch breaks. Now they want everyone to know he's not rude and she's no Karen. Okay, folks, <clears throat> I think that was stupid because she could have gotten hurt uh, and somebody could have just slapped the fire out of her for no reason in the grocery store um, and stuff. I, I, this, this is a serious matter, and I don't think that it was anything to joke about. That's just my, my opinion. It's not. I think the whole, all of these things that we have seen over and over and over in these videos of white women calling the police on our men, our children, on us for living, breathing, being, mm -hmm. being there. Um, none of that is funny to me. And so mm -hmm. the fact that they did this and they thought it was funny, I don't think that that's funny at all. Mm -mm. And so um, I don't know that either one of them deserved to lose their jobs or any of that. But I think that people have to really be mindful of how they present humor, I guess. This is just too soon and it's just not funny. Yeah, yeah. Um that just it just really blew me away and we have to be careful how we jump on bandwagons i mean you know that that TikTok was everywhere and we have to be really watchful about what we you know how we grab hold of different incidents because it's not always what it seems like you know before DeJoy came we the postal service had ethical we had to go through all this ethical training and all of that stuff that that employee is using postal property the vehicle, his uniform, to film a video on his own per on his own personal time, but mm -hmm. you can't do that. Mm -hmm. You can't use your job to make that's an ethical violation, and it was just so silly and unnecessary. And what was the point? Yeah, just to aggravate people. Yeah, you know, it was just stupid. And I bet you he got some discipline for it. And I'm not surprised that he almost lost his job. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I didn't think about that, but you're right. The whole using the postal truck and his uniform, those the, do not the, belong the, yeah. to him. Yeah, those that, don't belong that to him. No. no, they do not. That's mm -hmm. a that's a government branding. You mm -hmm. know, you can't use that to your you know to your silly advantage. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. Mm -hmm. I, I do a TikTok every morning uh, and stuff, and sometimes I, I do it from my classroom or, or, or I'm in my car, but if I have on a t-shirt or my logo or whatever, I cover it. That way, nobody can say, oh, that school is doing whatever, whatever, or that district is doing no uh, and stuff. I make sure that, you know, you can't see where I'm coming from um, and stuff because I don't need, I don't want all the extras and stuff. And so that was definitely um, uh, consideration. Phyllis uh, joined us in, uh, and stuff. She actually also worked for the Postal Service um, in Texas, uh, Aurora. But um, yeah, uh, Sylvia, comments? I was gonna say when I, because I, I did see it before, and I was just like, "This ain't." I, I don't know. It, I'm like, so you took all this time to put like words on here, and you, like, it, to me, it just was. It was staged, so it wasn't surprise. It wasn't surprising to me that it was that it actually came out that it was staged, and that that goes to something a little bit differently. Now people just don't know. They don't know real mm -hmm. from false. Everybody is jumping on the, all these different bandwagons, all these different videos. Now, every video I watch, I'm skeptical. 
I go with yeah. skepticism before I just immediately think that that is true. And, and like you said, Julie, now is not the time. Now is not the time to be doing um, things like this. Um, you know, we're, we're too sensitive right now and for good reason, mm-hmm. yes. for good reason. Um, and come on, you got something else better to do. And then like Ross said, you're in your post office uniform. Any job that you have a uniform on, mm-hmm. you're representing that company. You should know better than that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, our guest has joined us, but before we meet her, I want to introduce her music. Y'all, let me tell you something. Y'all know I talk to everybody. <laughs> and I, and so this is such a, this story is so cool to me because um, I, uh, I went to go get my hair done. It's my summer look. And this woman was doing my hair. Uh, and stuff, but I'm sitting in the midst of three women, and so I'm sitting in this, these three women, and and here, you know, we we all look basically alike, and they started talking, and they were speaking in French, and I'm blown away because I'm going, oh wow, of course I don't understand what they're saying, but I can get the gist of the overall conversations. Uh, at one point, she says, "Look at her, she's trying to understand us." <laughs> I want to know what you're saying. So, but as as everything was culminating, uh, and so she told me about her music, and you know, people now are sending books or they're sending you know things and stuff, and it's like okay, wonderful. Um, so, you're gonna formally meet her in just a moment, but I want you to hear her music, and I sent this to each of you before I play this. What was your? Did you get a chance to listen? And if so, what was your thought? Powerful. That was my initial thought, um, just because I can't speak French either. <laughs> I love the language. It's beautiful, and I love to hear it, but I can't, no. There's certain words I can pick out, but what I, what immediately came to me was, was just powerful, and it just reminds you that um, so even if you don't understand the words, mm-hmm. that there's an underlying language, especially with music, that um, just speaks to everyone. So that, that was my initial thought, just, just powerful. Okay. Julie, did you get to listen? I did not. So I'm looking forward to you playing it right now. So I'll be the, I'll be the one that'll be surprised. Okay. I Aurora? Very, very little yeah, she, French. So, you know, we'll see. <laughs> she's, uh, she's pretty powerful and she's pretty passionate. She sings with her whole body and her whole soul. So, yeah. I played I'm this looking for, forward to meeting her. I played this for my Bible study last night. And, um, and one of the women said, oh my gosh, you can close your eyes. You don't even need to read the words that it just hits you in here. So listen carefully to this. I, I'm so excited for you to meet this powerful woman. Thank you. The king is coming. Attention, attention, je souviens bientôt, attention, attention, il vient tout de suite, vous êtes Vous êtes prête Est-ce que vous êtes prête Attention Attention ah. Seigneur vient bientôt Attention Attention, il vient tout de suite. Vous êtes prêts, vous êtes prêts. Est-ce que vous êtes prêts? Il vient beaucoup plus sans avec nous. Attention, 
adoración Que vous êtes prêts. Vous êtes prêts. Vous êtes prêts. Attention. Attention. Je souviens. So, okay, Julie, what do you have to say? She sings from her toes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> her whole body was involved in that. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. Oh, my goodness. Well, her real name is, and I'm hoping not to slaughter this, her real name is Ejaro Osegbe James. Her stage name is Gero, Jero. And she was born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria. Well studied, uh, travel studied, mass communications. She's been singing since she was 15 years old, special gigs until Christ found her. She joined a ministry, Christ's embassy, and gotten lots of opportunities to minister to God's people. Her man of God, Pastor Chris Oyekilome, has been used by the Spirit of God to guide her in the parts of her course uh, and the way that she should go. She's so grateful to God for the gift of ministering to the world, and she definitely woo, did that this morning. Uh, you're muted, unmute, so we can talk with you. I went to a highly recommended uh, place called Marie. Marie uh, is a wonderful place to go. You want to get your hair done, or uh, as they say on Beauty Show, you want to get your, your crop crop dusted or something. <laughs> but um, she was one of the people working on my hair, uh, and we had good conversation in English, y'all, because and uh, and everything. But I was so <laughs> impressed with the fact, of course, they're all speaking French, and she, as she said, Nigerians don't speak French, but she fell in love with it. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine, Mister. I'm so fine. Thanks for having me today. Oh, we're and so glad you're here. Thank you. So you started singing at 15 uh, in Nigeria, right? Yes, ma'am. And how did you get to France? Ah, uh, uh, I was like singing in karaoke bars. Uh, five star hotels. Uh, unlike other people, they started in the church. I I did not start in the church. Um, so it's like um, where you have a five star hotel. Um, usually at the swimming pool with my band. I did that for a couple of years until I met someone that took me out of the country to African countries. And I met a French friend. Um, that was it. Uh, God blessed me with this grace to be able to grab languages. Um, I'm very good with linguistics. If I am very close to you for a while, I start speaking French. I've never even been to France before. Wow. <laughs> if I'm with you for a while, I adopt your accent, but I don't speak your language. So <laughs> 
I've but never been to France, but I've I've had a lot of interactions with them. Uh -huh. I've um, lived with them, but that's about it. Um, from the place I was singing uh, in the Francophone country, there was this karaoke, and they wanted me to be the English version of Tina Turner. I was very good in it. Trust me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was I was really this crazy person that when I get on stage I just become whoever I was supposed to sing. I loved um Aretha Franklin, uh Whitney Houston. Tina Tina was my favorite because she has every character like me. Uh I'm very aggressive when I'm on the stage. So imagine what I'm doing to the devil right now. Right. Wow. Wow. Talk about taking mm -hmm. the gifts and turning that around. That is amazing. Um, and so when did you meet your husband? Is he also, uh, he, is he here also or? Uh, no, I did not meet him here, but uh, we've been uh, like childhood friends from back home. Mm -hmm. I used to be that 15, 16 years old that sneaks out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right now. But uh, he was my first love, and that was it to date. Wow. We're still together. And uh, I'm 44, and he's 47, and we're still together. Wow. Oh, how amazing. Wow. Children? Uh, two. Okay. Now, did I meet? Was that your daughter with you the other no, day? No, no. They are not here. They are okay. not here. Yeah. Okay. All right. It, it's just amazing to listen to you. And, and I was also taken the same way. It's like I, I, I was trying not, I was trying to pay attention to the words, but at the same time, I just wanted to enjoy the connection <laughs> in the spirit realm. And it is so powerful how it pulls you in. Of course, I understood attention. Uh, and I think I've learned, what is it? Um, poor, are you ready? Say it. Attention. Attention, I have that. Attention. Mm -hmm. Je souviens. Oh, just look at that. I fell in love with it all over again. It's, the language is so gorgeous and you just embrace it so strongly. Uh, uh, when you were playing this, I don't know, but it tears me up every time. I was like, oh God, I'm going to mess up my makeup. <laughs> every, every time, every time I watch that video, I, I am just humbled that God that voice inside of me because and it's not just the voice it's the fact that the delivery just it just pulls me to heaven you know yeah i just leave my body and um i cry often because i i begin to see myself doing all those tina tona back then and how people were still drawn to me so what am i trying to say Sometimes the call is on you, and even while you ignore God, He's just looking at you. Mm. <laughs> Are yes. you done yet? Are you done yet? <laughs> and the voice is always there. Whether you pay attention or not, He's just there, still holding you like a string. You ain't go nowhere. And even Ooh. you're like, oh, I want to he okay. Have you seen where a baby wants to move and the mother just put a hook so that he doesn't go far? Yeah, yeah. Even though with all the struggle, all that no distance covered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for me, that's that's what I see God doing to me. And coming to America, oh my god, that broke me because eight years I'm still here and I'm like, God, when are you going to blow me up? When am I going to be that great, you know, superstar and everything? But I realized that even Moses, with all the greatness and knowledge he acquired in Egypt, he still had to go through the process. Mm -hmm. Very good. So mm -hmm. I am so grateful to God for people to even listen. And I was hearing that um, dear sister of yours that was talking. The two of them, they didn't just say, oh, it was a good music. The first one said powerful. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, God, if you could use me, I mean, nothing like me, and people still feel your presence, that's enough. That's that's mm -hmm. something when I know, when I see you face to face, I'll just run to your 
uh, embrace and you just say, well done, good and faithful servant. It's mm. not about how many people I stand before. That's it. All it's right. who gets the message. That's it. And they didn't even know me, but they could say it was powerful. And the other sister said, oh, she was in. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> the message was delivered. God, just mm -hmm. come take me home. <laughs> that's, 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 that's fulfilling for me. And I just start cheering up and crying and looking at you the way you're flinging your hair. Girl, <laughs> the devil is in trouble. <laughs> I love this woman. I tell you what, it is, you know, and, and that's just it. And, 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 and Sylvia, you, you're going to attest to this. You know, we all have different voices. And, and our voices are made for different things. Mm -hmm. uh, Julie's a political, polit into the political arena and, and, uh, and Aurora just always brings us to that calming place. No matter how high and crazy we are, she brings us to that calming place <laughs> and stuff. And, and Sylvia, I mean, she has that sweetness in her. We all have different mm -hmm. ways that we communicate, but it's the, it's the power of God that is moving through us and that we really want to reach people. I, you know, I started doing the TikTok thing and I said, I'm not trying to do the 10,000 whatever the views or whatever it is 10,000 followers I said that, that's not it if one person gets reached then I feel like I've accomplished what I'm supposed to be doing uh, so you know did you we, remember what the bible says one should chase a thousand and two ten thousand hmm. how many are we right now so for, for for me when you're talking about a crowd you're talking about one person mm-hmm because all it takes is word by mouth. And when people get to hear about Jesus, look, have you ever, look, have you ever thought about the fact that in the days of Jesus, there was no microphone, but yet thousands and thousands of people could hear you. Mm -hmm. So it's by the anointing. It's not the, the, uh, the school I went to, the talent I have. It's mm. if the oil is there, it will drip and it Woo! will touch everybody around you. All right. You can, now. It will it will come down. All right, we getting the word today. Yeah, if y'all ain't shouting, your wood is wet. I'm telling you now. Jackie is saying beautiful. And a matter of fact, uh Reverend Jackie and Sister Tangi uh from my church recommended uh that I go in the first place to this 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 this, this uh this beauty shop and so you know i'm you know searching searching i don't know any place and they recommended and oh my goodness and i will tell you this woman she we were watching some kind of crazy series on netflix <laughs> and uh and stuff and, and i'm saying what in the world but i do see i did understand the spiritual undertones of it but it was just one of those things you're like what's going on here uh, but when i heard when i listened to, to her songs i sent her a message and I said, you protect the anointing, protect the anointing. And that's what we all have Thank to you. do. Uh, and so I want to play one more of her songs, but first I want to give everybody a chance to make comment. Julie? Uh, I guess that, that whole, if the oil is there, it is dripping. I'm just, I'm stuck right there in that moment. So don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia! Oh, it just... It reminds me of you know, last week I talked about Jonah and just how how disobedient he was, but it didn't change his call. And when you said that, that we go in different directions, you know, sometimes we ignore God and this and the other, but it didn't, it doesn't change what the calling that he has on your life. And like you say, he's just looking at, okay, you ready? You gonna get it together? <laughs> or not? And so it just, it just reminded me of that. We have so many stories of triumph so many stories of you know not everybody wants to walk in it and walk in it differently mm -hmm. but at the end of the day you're gonna walk in it <laughs> yeah, that's it that's it aurora um i just i i enjoy your music i think it's very purposeful thank you, thank you. and for you to be in a crowd but you say as you say to reach one person i think that's just very moving Thank it's you. Very humbly, very moving. Thank you. Yeah, I can sense your your humbleness and your grace. Thank you. So God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank and you. I want to play this one um, for us, and then we will say our goodbyes. Let's see here if I can get this to cooperate. There we go. And so watch this one, please, and be blessed. Jesus, my God, my God, 
None is compared to you. None can be compared to you, Lord. You are God. You are the God. All seeing, all loving, all gracious King. Oh, 
something to ignite your worship time that is it right there i'm telling you i'm trying to hold it together to get us out of here my goodness Woo! how wonderful how exciting uh sylvia can't, can't handle it anymore you you blessed us this morning you blessed us this morning thank you for coming on with us um you will send me the link where we can uh, purchase your music and i'll post it on a uh, on uh on uh, K Hugs, so others can get a hold of it as well, and of course those were for clips from YouTube. You know, I, I don't, I don't, um, I don't buy a lot of music these days. I'm getting <laughs> yours. <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting yours. I want to support that. I have to tell you though that I am curious to see what your Tina Turner looked like. Uh, I want to tell you that. <laughs> Uh, you don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> so that was BC before Christ, huh? <laughs> the plan of this. Ah, we all, we you all have go. Go We all have a BC. So <laughs> right. some things we want to leave alone. God, you know, okay. So good. When you just said, when I just said, simply the best, my phone went blank. I the Holy that. Spirit said, don't go there. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That string got pulled. <laughs> that string got pulled. There you go. Be obedient. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gero, for being with us this morning. Thank, thank you. you for blessing our I'm so hearts. Honored. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Thank I, you. you know, I want to just quote this. Did our thank hearts you. not burn, y'all? Did our yeah. hearts not burn? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Sylvia, thank you. Looking so forward blessed. to tomorrow morning and uh, your Sunday school lesson. Why worry? And no sense in worrying. All we got to do is just worship and trust God. That's right. Amen. That's all we need to do. Amen. So, Amen. Julie, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I just appreciate all your political insight, but I just appreciate you. You're you you're one of the. There you go. There you go. Aurora, <laughs> my high school friend. Always so good to get together with you. And, uh, and stuff, yes. Oh, and hey, letting everybody to know, everybody know, we're doing a, a kind of a summer hiatus where our shows will be uh, recorded. So you'll see this show again uh, this month. The first uh, the first show will be uh, live, but then the other shows will be recorded because we need to rest. We also need to revamp. We've got a lot of great things coming up for you. Um, we're going to have it set up where you we can you can be a dedicated uh, part of our audience. You're going to be able to win prizes and books and things. Uh, we've been blessed to partner with one of the largest uh, publishers in the country. So uh, you're going to have all kinds of things that you're going to be able to have uh, contact with. Um, we are also going to be doing some traveling. And so I'm going to be out and about uh, and stuff. And hopefully I show up at one of these ladies' house. They won't shoot me and, you know, when I'm <laughs> walking around at night. <laughs> <laughs> so road trip, road trip, road trip, uh, getting ready for some road trips. If you are wanting to do road trip this uh, summer, hey, hit me up. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of people with me and we're going to get out and do some things. Uh, Reverend Jackie's already decided she's jumping in the car. So um, we're going to do that. I'm going to Mexico this year. Somebody needs to come go with me and let's just go have some fun. How about that? Aurora can go along and keep me out of trouble. <laughs> Keep me out of trouble. Keep me from ordering the wrong foods or something like that uh, and stuff. And uh, and in the car, I will take along music. Uh, and and I'm gonna tell you, I'll have to pull over the side of the road every now and then and just get out the car and just let it all go. Cause girls, you have blessed me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for the hair. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey everybody! Thanks for coming into the room for a little sister chat. It was my pleasure chat. meeting everybody. God bless you all. Hi, thank you. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there, Gero. Right. Everybody else.